Hey! It's a crowded here. So now we're getting into the real stuff. So MMU2S upgrade kit introduction. And um, first I'd like to start with the uh, the thing is it didn't come with a manual in the in the box, so that's online. So we have to check here. Um, I'll put a link in the description. So let's have a look. So one of the most important things to do first is to identify exactly what um, printer you're upgrading. So uh, as, as you can see here, you'll be following a little bit different instruction path based on um, what um, printer you're upgrading. Ah, tools are included. So the wrench is new. Oh, that wasn't in the the instruction for the printer assembly and then uh, each uh, bag basically contains a picture of each component and then you can actually put the component on the bag and you can see that it actually matches one to one in most cases you can also down, go and download or, or view high resolution pictures of all the entries and then you can uh, if you yeah, this will not apply to very many, but let's say that you would have your own printed parts and Prusa parts, then you can actually see, you can identify what, which parts are Prusa. Now they also, like Prusa usually does, is to provide STL models for most of the parts, so that you can actually, if you break a part or something, you, you can actually opt to go, if you do have an extra 3D print while you're on this process, you can go and get um, a part, or have a friend print it out for you. Uh, lots of online help, um, and then there's also um, you can read this yourself. The way to put get the nuts to go into their places, and um, you know candy included for those not on a diet, <laughs> or those that don't have kids that make them disappear, and then. A little bit about um, how to um, succeed with this um, on the build, so it's good to read read this through. Uh, and then here is actually the mo one of the most important sections: how do you identify what printer you're upgrading? I mean, I'm mean, assuming you know exactly what model you're upgrading. Did you check that when you ordered this kit? But let's say that you had ordered it and lots of things have happened and you forgot. So you know, please check this because this will um, uh, determine how you process through the instructions. So there's different sections for different um, upgrade paths. Um, <coughs> so that was just uh, going through the introduction section. And uh, for each section there seems to be uh, this comments that people have added. Um, the problem is that mo some of the comments, even when they suggest an alternative way to do things, is not always commented by Prusa personnel, so one doesn't really know one way or the other. Uh, the other problem is that Prusa has promised to both modify the online manual and the actual kit based on feedback in the comments. So you actually don't know if your kit has already been modified and the online instruction modified to compensate for the comment in question. So you have to use your own discretion and um, I intend to as much as possible not to follow the few comments that I checked did not seem to be um, valid enough to implement. But um, you know everybody does what they want to do. So, but please be careful when you deviate from the process officials' instructions. Uh, yeah, and then we could actually have a little bit of look at um, the printer. So here's the printer I have, and it's identified as an MK3S. 
I just did that just as a test to see if the identification method works, and yes, it does. So there's a little bit of preparation you have to do. Um, extract the filament, take away the filament, take away the filament holder, and then um, wait for it to cool down so it's nice and cool, and then take away the steel bed. That's their recommendation. Um, so that's just about preparing the printer. And then the other thing is that when they say that this is an upgrade, I, oh, I have a bit of a problem with it. And semantics. Yes, it's an upgrade you apply it to your printer, but most of it is actually doing a build. So take the attitude that this is like you're building a kit and be serious about the instructions because most of the instructions are applying to actually building the actual MMU unit and that is a complete build, electronics, cabling, everything so really, really um, pay attention to what you're doing so anyway, I just thought I'd have that as an introduction and um, you know, the idea is that when this video now ends that you could actually go yourself online and um, read through the introduction section in your own pace and um, take out the information you feel is valid and then we will uh, actually continue with the next step and I will um, of course be focusing because I have an MK3S printer so I will be focusing on that specific printer and the steps regarding that I won't be uh, going into the sections which are related to other upgrades uh, since I don't have those printers and um, yeah so uh, so be careful if you have another printer then I don't know you have to evaluate yourself as to the value of these this video series if, if you should follow it or just stick with it. Some of the instructions are generic however, you know, they apply to, it, it doesn't matter what print you have. So maybe you just want to jump over the sections which are printer specific and, and um, yeah, watch those videos that are specific to, that are generic. So anyway, if you found this video interesting, consider subscribing, um, hit the bell icon to be notified, uh, tell others that are in this process to that this information exists online and uh, let's enjoy ourselves and start building. <laughs>